So just to tidy up uh, the end of this tutorial, um, a couple of things. It's a really good idea to make sure that you save your work. Um, so we'll just make sure we save the Grasshopper script. And the way I operate is create a folder. Um, I'll just call it box here. Uh, and then cr create the script in there. So box for the Grasshopper script. And then also uh, the Rhino file I would save in the same folder. So um, it just makes sure that things all align. You don't have to do that, but it's a good way just to keep things easy to find in the future. Um, the other thing I noticed here with the rotate, there's this plane uh, tool or plane requirement for the rotate command or component. And what that means is uh, at the moment that's rotating in an unusual place, but we can control that by putting either a point or a plane into that place. So here, once I do that, it's now rotating around that point there. So if I adjust that slider, you can see it's rotating around that point. So depending on what you want to do, you could use that one or you can create another place or plane to rotate. So you could even have it on a different axis if you wanted, rather than just uh, a vertical axis. So it can rotate in multiple planes if you needed to. Uh, also, um, some little housekeeping things. If you realize you've put a connector in the wrong place, um, you can hold down Control or Command on a Mac and get rid of that connector. So we can bring that in to there. Also, you can bring the same uh, slider to, to multiple places. So at the moment, I've got three going into this point. I can bring that into, so I could actually have all three going into from that same slider. So if I adjust that, it adjusts all of them. And that means if you want to, you can start being quite clever and using sort of uh, different operations to control or adjust um, the parameters that you you want. And a reminder, there's three different parts to each component. So here on this side of where the labels are, there's ones that give you a whole lot more information depending on what you're doing. So that's a right click on there. The middle, so if I right click on there, you can just get those. And then at the end, you get some other ones as well. So depending on what you need to do, you can adjust those. Uh, hopefully that is helpful and gives you a bit of an idea of how you can go about using Grasshopper to create um, some parametric, simple parametric models.